Hey, I'm Sarah, and this is a quick video on how to integrate barcode scanning into your Android app. There are two ways that you can do it, and I'm here on developers.google.com. You can scan barcodes with the ML kit on Android, and this is if you need a complex UI or a custom UI, and you really need some advanced features. But if you just need something very, very simple, then alternatively, you can use Google Code Scanner for Android only. And this integrates with Google Play services, and you do not have to request camera permissions in your app manifest when you use this. So this is what I'm going to be using today, and I'll show you how it works. Here's a demo app that I've created. The first thing you need to do is in your Android manifest, configure Google Play services to automatically download the scanner module while your app is being installed from the Play Store. So if you want to enable this, you can just add the metadata tag, add this MLKit vision dependencies, and the barcode UI. Next, I'm using a Tomo file to manage my dependencies. And these are my barcode scanning dependencies. I add Kotlin Coroutines play services so I can use task.await instead of using the add-on success listener task pattern. So here's the code scanner, and it's just play services code scanner. And here is the Kotlin X coroutines. Next, this is my barcode scanner service, and it's really easy to implement. The cool thing about it is it takes the application context, so you don't have to worry about the activity, which is great. That means we can access it from anywhere. We can get it from our view models, our activities, our repositories, wherever we need it. So I've created this little service here, and the first thing I've done is set up some options. And right now I'm setting barcode, format all formats, and this is from the docs. If you know which barcode formats you expect to read, you can improve the speed of the barcode detector by configuring it to only detect those formats. So the formats available are here, and you can go through and see the different formats. Of course, the common ones, we have QR code, UPC format, and if you need help figuring out um, the different types, then there's tons of online sites that you can look at to see you know, what barcode matches your app's needs. So let's go back to the app here. Now for mine, again, I've just chosen all formats. And then the next thing you do is actually get the client. And so we're passing in the app context and the options that we have defined up here. And now I also have the actual result saved in immutable state flow as a string that I'm going to collect from my main activity. And then this is super easy. The only thing you need to do is start the scan. So we have scanner.startscan await. And here's where I'm using the coroutines uh, extra dependency that I added. And then I get my value is the result raw value here. Uh, there's different things you can use. If you check it out, you can do, I think it's display value. Yeah, so there's different things you can play with here. But for now, I'm using the raw value. Uh, create a little log for it, and that's pretty much it. That's as simple as it gets. And so now let me show you how I've set this up in my Hilt app module. Again, I just provide my barcode scanner service, and I provide the application context and create my scanner. And now next, here's where I'm actually accessing it from my main activity. So I've just created a little demo. It doesn't look great, but it gets the job done. So we set our content, the theme, and now, oh, let me show you real quick. So I'm just injecting my barcode scanner service here. And then here I'm collecting that value that we get when after we await the scan, it collects the actual barcode result. So it collects it here. And now scan barcode is a little composable that I have here. And it's super simple. It's just a button to start the scan and then a text area to display the actual barcode when it comes back. I've got my toxic waste sour candy here. And if you can see here, we've got a barcode and I'm gonna go ahead and scan this barcode and see what happens. So let's run the app. 
And I've just got my Google Pixel phone. And I'm gonna click scan barcode. Now let's put the candy here. And there we go, boom, that fast. And that's super cool. And that is, again, all you need to do. You don't have to request camera permissions. It's just very easy to integrate. It's all built in to Google Play services. The only thing that I did notice is, let's say you're scanning the barcode from a wrinkly bag of chips or the lighting isn't very good. Sometimes it might actually get the barcode wrong. So in your apps, make sure you let users know that the room should be well lit, the barcode should be flat, and you may wanna add some additional checking to make sure that the barcode that comes back actually matches the barcode from whatever they're scanning. You just might wanna have some additional error checking. And again, I might've been running into problems because I have all formats. Possibly if you could narrow it down to QR code or something like that, it may be a little less inconsistent, but for the most part, I mean, it comes, it comes through every time. We'll try it again. This is a nice clear reading. Yeah, so for the most part, it matches exactly. So what can you actually do with these barcodes? Stay tuned and find out, and thanks for watching.